Me again. Back again with um an accidental yarn haul. <laughs> Oops. So, um, the last video I said how I'd ordered some of the maypole that Jan Carruthers and Blue Chair of 82 had mentioned. And I've not been very well. And I don't know about you guys, but when you're not very well, do you tend to look online at yarn and accidentally add it to your basket and then accidentally pay for it and then it arrives <laughs> and makes your day. I do. It arrived. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. I'm like a kid. I love it. Yeah, so I bought six balls of maypole and three more of the DK that I showed you last time because I used two and a bit of it up so obviously I had to replace it because there's now a hole in my yard stash that needs filling which does make sense plus it was really cheap and I really like it um, I think it will make really cute Amazon Ruby Octopuses so yeah, three more of that one basics DK I just like it, so I got three more. That's fine, right? My husband's probably gonna think he's not my husband, what am I saying? <laughs> my fiance's probably gonna kill me. But yeah, three of those. <laughs> One, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> this is what I'm really excited about. I love the colours I bought last time. But on the website they looked really, really vibrant and in person they were a bit muted. I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, I don't know what I had in my head. I think it was just because I'd seen everything else that everybody was showing and they were like bright colours. Whereas like I said, they seemed to me a bit muted. <laughs> These are not. These are definitely not. <laughs> so, <it's like laughs> so, sorry, I've got... Huh. I'm eating it. I'm so excited. Look how pretty! It's just... Oh, <laughs> love it. Two of those. See, I'm reserved. I only buy two. Cute. I don't have no words, it's just so pretty. So pretty. Do you see the green coming through? <laughs> oh, you can see it better on this one, hold on. It's just stunning absolutely stunning love it and it's so soft and i can't wait to use it but i had no idea what i was going to use it for to block the hole in my <laughs> in my stash apparently why not but yeah so that was um my little get well soon to myself <laughs> Um, I also got surprised by my auntie who used to knit but has given up or taking a break. Either way, yay for me! <laughs> so I've been through it briefly and there's this lovely ash rose colour. Um, the bag's full. The bag's full. There's little balls about this size. It looks like she frogged something. But, um, I, I, I'm going to use it. I'll use it for something. Scrap blanket. I'm in the middle of one of those. It's kind of a year-long work in progress. I think I started it. September? October? Last year? I've got a whole bag of scraps to add to it, but I just haven't done any more of it. Just like, I can't be bothered. But yeah, um... One of these will go into that, absolutely. 
and then I'll find something to use for the rest of the board. Quite soft. I'm not quite sure what it is. Obviously, there's no label. Quite thick though. Maybe four or five? Or it might just be where she's frogged it and it's just thinned out. Very nice. Rattle. Ten of these. It's a uh, Shetland style double knitting pure new wool. Oh, she got for 25p each. Bargain. But yeah, so there's ten of those. Nice khaki colour. I don't normally wear wool, it itches. Maybe I'd advise hair conditioner. But um, still, really nice. I'm a groomy. Yeah, if in doubt, make a toy. There's a couple of this colour, there's no label on any of them. Um, there's about five. That that one's softer, it's really nice. And there's whew, right at the bottom. Six of these, which is clipper. I think I'm assuming there's a that one on the front. Otherwise it just says lip find another label, but I'm sure it said clipper. Nope, you aren't going to be any easier. Ta -da, making a mess. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Typically I can't find the ones with labels on, but there's two more there. Um, I'm sure it's clipper. I'm sure I read it. It said clipper earlier, which is 80% wool and 20% nylon. Oh, made in England. Bradford. Oh, my dad was born in Bradford. That shade two zero nine. Very old, I mean, it's a bit. But yeah, so there's six of those in total because these two don't look like they've been touched compared to this. Not a lot of difference. Cute. So that was nice. Oh, one more. Got back the last bag. Purple. That's really nice. It's chunky with wool. Um, so it's sixty five percent acrylic, twenty percent wool, and fifteen percent nylon. The shade. No idea if they make this anymore. Chewy, chew, chewy, <laughs> chewy, chevy, Corella, chunky. And there's three with some odds in the bottom. So yay! <laughs> Accidental yarn haul times two. Um, it's very exciting. So yeah, so I um, I said in the last video that I was gonna show you some of the things that I've been making. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you was two little granny square dogs that I made my kids for Christmas. Um, I always think it's nice... Oh, block nose. <coughs> I always think it's nice to make them something every Christmas. Bear with me one second. Sorry. Yeah, um, I always think it's nice to make them something every Christmas just so that, in theory, they have something to like look back on and remember, whether they will or not, who knows, but you know, in theory it's a nice thing to do. So I made them both a little dog. Ooh. Hello. Reds. They're just little dog cushions. They're um oh they're I can't remember. I cannot remember. I will link below um whose pattern it is. But essentially it's just a load of granny squares put together. They're like solid granny squares. Loved it. Like it's really, really quick to make all the individual squares and <laughs> separate them all together. Didn't like that. Don't like sewing. Don't like sewing. But yeah, so um I think I understuffed them. But they're fun and they're soft and my daughter sleeps with hers every night, which is just really cute. So she obviously likes hers. My son just opened Christmas Day. Oh dog throw. As you do when you're two. But yeah, whatever. Um yeah, so they're from Christmas. This weekend I can hear everything. Um the dog bumping keep catching my eye. <laughs> the um yeah, this weekend I like I said I wasn't very well. Um so I just kind of sat and crocheted. So out of the Hayfield, not Hayfield. Rosetti that I bought last week. Two, 
I don't know, for 200 grams. I think that's really reasonable. Um, I made... Two cowls. Really pleased with these. Really soft yarn. Love it. Excuse me. Um, it says it is 200 grams, 180 metres, 197 yards. Made in Turkey. Might be why I haven't seen it before. Um, so yeah, it was 50% acrylic, 41% cotton and 9% polyester. And it's, it's, oh, it's so soft. It's lovely. And I'm amazed at how far it actually went. Because I got these two cowls out of it. And then I had enough left over to make an ear warmer as well. So, fuck. Three items for three quid. Can't go wrong, can ya? Five pound, lad, for water. <laughs> so yeah, really pleased with those. Like I said, they're so soft, I can't stop. Like, oh. I also, because um, I was a bit bored, thought I would try and do one of those braided headbands that were like the rage a couple of years ago. I'm so behind with everything, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I had a go. I like how it turned out. But I don't think I chose the right colour to do it with. It's a bit... It's a bit flat. I don't know, but I did it, so yay. I also made another pair of these little wrist warmers, which is the Bella Coco pattern. I love them. I love this yarn as well. But um, these I made for me. <laughs> like, I like them to dry in. They're quite good. But um, I've been making them for my mum as well, and she likes them extra long, so I just added an extra four rows at the beginning. And yeah, they work out really lovely. And they're so easy and so quick that, like, literally, if you just have, like, a spare hour and you want something to do, they can work up. Why not? So, yeah, really pleased with those. Uh, the last thing I finished at the weekend, <laughs> like I said, way out of date, very behind, was my first ever... I'm not sure. I don't think I like it. <laughs> I love the pattern and I love the like the way the stitches are and everything. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just again, I think I just make bad colour choices. I don't know. It kind of looks what was it I said? My other half nearly wet and stuff. I said cameo, camo. <laughs> yeah. Camera again. Yeah, I said cameo. Camo. It reminds me of don't you think? Like kind of a black and grey version of camo but yeah so that's the last thing I finished at the weekend really pleased to be done with it I was getting a little bit fed up with it to be fair <sighs> works in progress you know how I said I hate sewing started to make I say started to completed all of the pieces for this little dude which is the my camera hates me. I have come to that conclusion. <laughs> Polar Bear, Crochet Wild Animals, Vanessa Moonsey? Moonsey? I've made loads of the, I say loads, I've made four of the animals out of here so far. A couple of elephants, a couple of frogs, a flamingo, and a giraffe, which I don't have, but um, I will put some pictures in at the end. My mum steals everything. She doesn't really. <laughs> Some of them have gone to friends and stuff. But I love this book. I just don't like... <laughs> Sorry. Every time I look at this, it makes me laugh. I don't like sewing. So it's all made. <laughs> I just... I can't see how this turns into... I mean... I just can't see how it turns into a polar bear. It looks like a gourd. You know, the the vegetable, the root vegetable. Is it a root vegetable? Doesn't matter. Parsnip. It looks like a parsnip. It just doesn't look like a polar bear body. 
and I'm sure that when it's got they've all got tangled together but when it's got all its little bits and pieces attached see this is how long it's been sat there I can't even remember when I finished this like two weeks ago I just can't see it I don't know if I shaped it wrong how can you put it aside making me laugh put it aside <laughs> but yeah basically um need to finish the feather bed I just really I think I mean, it's, oh, those are its ears. I just thought I couldn't see its ears, but there's some. Again, I don't really see how that works. <sighs> Hollow ear. But yeah, so I will eventually get around to sewing it together. But that was the Primark Sparkly White, White Sparkle yarn. But I said I'd use a couple of balls of it in the last video. Yeah, <laughs> they're sat there, waiting to be sewn together. The other thing that I started. I kind of want to call it a cabin blanket now that I'm looking at it. It's a never-ending granny square, which is by Mikey from The Crochet Crowd. And I've made four or five of these before for various people. And um, I thought I'd do one in the colours I bought last week. Normally, I don't know about you, but normally when I buy yarn, it goes in my yarn and stays there for God knows how long before I start using it. I am on a roll. This is like four balls of yarn that I'm actually using the week after I buy them. So that was the, excuse the crudeness of it, but the walnut, copper and claret, which was a special, got it here, special by Stylecraft. Love it. It's so soft. I've never used it before, but it's so soft. So I thought I'd just keep going until they run out because there's still quite a lot left. And it's, you know, it's quite sizable already. Sorry, <laughs> I have children. <laughs> I've got to say that, um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep going until they run out and see how big it is. And if I'm happy with the size, great. If not, then I'll go and hopefully see if, if they have any more, which I might do anyway, because it's so lovely. Rambling. 